boy, do we have a surprise for you. How is this possible? Oh, you gotta breathe. We have a new family member. Here's the whole story. Okay, I just got a text. Do you guys remember how on my birthday, the last like four years, we have gone to a friend's house, a kind of a mutual friend who used to live in my parents' neighborhood and they have a hairless cat named Harry. And I, on my birthday, would go hold Harry for like five minutes. And here was the most recent time, which was when I turned 30. Well, I just got a text from her and because of some different reasons, like family reasons, they are needing to find a new home for Harry. And... <laughs> and she was like, we, do you guys that, are you going to be in the, like if you're interested, would you be in Maryland at all this month? And, and we're in Maryland right now. Right now. So I said, you know, she said, are you and Peter still looking to adopt? A hairless cat because we we always said like if we adopt a cat we do, we're not interested in adopting like a kitten it would need to be like an older cat who just needs a new home and so you know that's really the only scenario that we would be open to and so when she said are you still looking to adopt a cat I was like yes and so I said to Peter like oh my goodness gracious we need to start praying and Peter said I think God just answered that prayer. I just got a text about it. So, um, wow, uh, it's 11.54 on December 1st, 2019, <laughs> and we'll keep you updated. So currently, um, Harry's mom is gonna come over and we're gonna talk about all the details. Um, we've researched having a hairless cat for a long time. And so I've been learning about it as I've been researching, but now that it's like possibly gonna be me, now we're doing like extra research. Peter's researching about how to introduce um, a, new, a dog to a cat in the home. Cause of course Oliver's never lived with cats. So this is gonna be all new for all of us. Um, but it's looking like what will probably happen is kind of do a trial run, see if Harry, likes us and um, see how we all mesh as a possible family. Um, so Harry's family said, what if we do a couple of weeks, a three week trial, and then if it works, great. And if it doesn't feel like it's vibing, they're, they'll, they're happy to, I don't know, find a different home. So um, she's getting ready to come over and talk about things. And I've got my paper ready. I've got my questions ready. <laughs> and Peter is exhausted, but I can tell that he is, because originally you were like, we're not getting a naked cat ever. But now where are you at? Um, I, I feel like this is something Mary has wanted for a long, long time. And I feel like we're both ready and here we are like we have an opportunity like we both were on the same page we didn't want a kitten and we didn't want to like it was just going to be a situation if a cat needed a new home so here it is so i feel like it's right it makes sense I, it still feels a little bit like just kind of a possibility it's not for sure yeah. and i think it, you know i think it makes it a lot of sense to do a trial run and give harry some time to get used to us and our house and that sort of thing but um, we'll see. We'll see. One of the things that's gonna be part of this trial period is seeing about allergies. Most people, or some people, I think most who are allergic to typical cats do not have trouble with Sphinx. 
Um, it's probably similar to the, if somebody's allergic to a dog, to dogs in general, most people are okay with poodles. But there are, of course, some people who are not. So, Peter's allergic to typical cats. And we did a, we, when we went and hugged Harry um, in August for my birthday, Peter came because he wanted to see, am I allergic to these cats or not? And so he like held Harry like up to his face and just hung out in their house for a little bit and he didn't have any trouble. So we're curious to see with extra time how his allergies do. So that's one of the aspects of this trial run. But like we mentioned before, it's also just to see what Harry thinks of us and how we all mesh as a possible family. So we'll see what happens. Okay, here's Harry. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's Harry. Good boy. Is he Harry? Good boy, gentle. Good boy. Perfect. That's perfect. That's a good boy. We are on our way home to North Carolina. Everybody is just chilling out, resting, getting used to everything. Harry is in his bed in a crate back in the back where it's flat so he's not tipping over and stuff. Under his blanket. Oh yes, he has his blanket and his bed that he knows the smell of and everything. So he went in there just fine and cuddled right up and I think everybody's good. Okay, we are just about home and everybody is doing good. We've been reading a lot more. Like I said, we've been researching possibility of having a naked cat for a long time but now that it's reality we've been doing a lot more research on integrating a new animal into the house so there are a lot of different methodologies but what we're gonna be doing for now is quarantining Harry to one room so we're gonna make a Harry room and you know we introduced them this morning and I think we'll do a little bit of introduction each day, but for the most part, they will be separate for quite a few days. It looks like some people recommend seven to 10 days. Other people don't do any quarantine, so we'll see what ends up working for us. But for now, that's the plan. So we have a plan as we're almost home and we're gonna go get everybody settled in. Okay, I don't know, have we vlogged since we got home? I don't know. We set up Harry up in my office and he did his business up there in the litter box and he we let him kind of just settle in and that'll be his space for the next few days. And uh and then we walked the house with uh all four of us and um just kind of introducing Ollie. And Ollie's doing a great job. Yes, and he is. Also, um Harry is purring. And also he was doing the little like kneading thing mm -hmm. on me, which I believe means he's happy. But all the purring, and he's just, he's being so sweet. And I'm, this is just a huge adjustment for him. And I just think he's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's this thing we're sitting in? Look at him. Oh, it feels good on his neck. Oh, funny. Does that feel good? Oh. He, his face is like a dinosaur. Yes, he is like a dinosaur. He's such a good boy. Ollie, you're doing such a good job. This is so different, but you're it's doing so a great job. Good job. Ollie just had some very special treats. Mm -hmm. Because this is all a very big adjustment, and we just want to do it slowly and... Respectfully to everybody. Yes. I have been sitting here just 
thanking God for the gift of this cat. I cannot believe this. I just cannot believe it. Ollie comes over and kind of sniffs him every once in a while. And it's just, this is better than I imagined. I know that some cats are like skittish and they don't really want to be held or they like run and hide, but he just wants to be in my arms. I am just astonished and so thankful and I just keep like smiling and saying like, how is this possible? How is this possible? Oh. Good morning, Stretch. Hey guys, I just finished my vest and Harry is sitting here purring. I was really curious, he's never been exposed to a vest, of course, and I was curious if it would scare him. But he sounds very happy. He's being very, very sweet. Do you love the snuggle? How is he like, he is everything you dreamed of. I mean, he is, I, he's better than I could have ever dreamed for. And he's like but hugging like, my neck. He loves the snuggle right now. And like, that's what you like dreamed of. Yeah. He also loves to explore. Hi, Harry. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? What are you exploring? What are you looking outside? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hi. I know you want all the loving. Harry, the hairless cat, is the newest member of the Fry Life family. Um, I was gonna kiss you. Oh. <laughs> Harry was watching though. <laughs> Here's where we're at in the process. We are still slowly introducing, and each day we're trying to do a little bit of introductions. For... And exposure. Yeah. Like, basically, Harry has never been around a dog, and Ollie's never lived with a cat. And so uh, they're both doing great with it, but we want them both to feel completely comfortable and safe and that they have a place. I think Harry's okay with the situation. If you can tell. He's he just, purring, by the he's way. He's purring and falling asleep in Mary's hand. So we're gonna continue taking it slow. We're still in kind of a trial period. We gotta make sure that this makes sense for everybody involved. But at this point in the process, it feels like it is making sense. We're really thankful to be learning Harry and I can already see that he's quite a snuggle bug. So we're just in the process, we're taking it slow and that's where we're at. But we wanted to let you guys know that you can tentatively but officially welcome Harry to the Fry Life family. Welcome to the family, Harry. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night, night. and.
Good night. <laughs> Two good nights.